Infectious diseases remain a major threat to human and animal health. The interplay between a pathogen and its host is a battle fought out on a cellular and molecular level, the outcome deciding whether an infection is established or the invading pathogen is neutralised. In order to discover more about the interactions between the pathogen's attack and the host defence systems, scientists use animals, often mice, to model infections. They also use animals to develop new drugs and vaccines and to test out potential new treatments. As a result of all these studies, a lot of the information is now available, but only from many different sources. Making sense of all this knowledge and data is not easy. One way to better understand all this information is to build computer models of the systems you are interested in. However, many modelling approaches are complicated, requiring knowledge of complex mathematics. Using the new virtually immune biologist-friendly tools and approach to modelling, anyone can build and simulate the activity of complex biological systems. You can start modelling today with our five-step approach. Firstly, gather information about your pathway. There are now many sources for and types of information available. Draw a map of your pathway using YED software. This step can take some time, but with a little effort it is possible to build up quite complicated diagrams of known events. Define the initial conditions of your silico experiment. You need to decide which molecules are present at the start of your simulation experiment, and relatively how much of them there might be. You define these by placing tokens on these molecules. Run a simulation and visualise the dynamic behaviour of your system. Simulate the dynamics of your system through watching stochastic flow of tokens through your pathway. Now you can go to the lab and refine your experiments. Hopefully your model has proven useful and you have been able to learn something about how your pathway might work. In this way you can avoid performing unnecessary lab work and reduce the use of animals in experiments. Now it's your turn to give it a try.